Hello everybody. In this video, I will teach you how to find step by step the equation of a perpendicular bisector. Remember, parallel lines, the gradients are the same. And for perpendicular lines, there's a formula. The one gradient times the other gradient is equal to negative one. Now let's start with some examples. Example one, are the lines, and then I give you that equation, and another equation, are they parallel, perpendicular, or neither? So what we need to find is the gradient for the first line and the gradient for the other line, and then we need to compare to see whether they are parallel, perpendicular, or not. First line, x plus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0. And then we have to find, or rather write this line in standard form. Standard form means the x will go across and the constant. And then we will divide right through by 2 to get our coefficient of y1, positive 1. Therefore, that line in standard form is y is negative x over 2 plus 3 and its gradient is negative a half. The other line 2 bracket x plus 2y is 13. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply in the 2 to get rid of the brackets and then we're going to write that line in standard form. Standard form means we're going to find y alone on the left hand side. So the 2x will walk across and it becomes negative 2x and now we will divide right through by 4 and we end with y is negative 2x over 4 plus 13 over 4 and then our gradient is minus a half and what can you see? The two gradients are equal therefore the lines are parallel. Example 2. Find the equation of the line through the point A minus 1 minus 2. So there's our point. It's around about there. A minus 1 minus 2. So we want to find the black lines equation. And our line is parallel to the line through the point B00. Zero, zero. So there's the point B and C, 4 minus 3. So 4 minus 3 is round about there. Now what is happening is we want to work out the gradient of the blue line BC. And once we know what the gradient is, we will use that blue line's gradient for the black line. Uh, because they are parallel. So into the gradient formula, we have the points 0, 0, and we have the point 4, negative 3. When we substitute, it's negative 3 minus 0 over 4 minus 0, and we find the gradient for line BC is minus 3 over 4. And what we know is that our line is parallel to BC. Therefore, the black line's equation will be Y is MX plus C, and the gradient that we're going to use is minus 3 over 4. It's the same as the blue lines. And then we find we want to find the value for C. How do we find that? The other coordinate that was given that lives on our line is the point minus 1, minus 2, consisting of a x and a y. So into x and y's place, we substitute the values, and then we can work out c. c's value is minus 11 over 4. Therefore, the equation is y is minus 3 over 4x, minus 11 over 4. Example 3. Find the equation of the line through k, minus 1, minus 4, perpendicular to the line 3x plus 2y is equal to 4. We want 
y is mx plus c, an equation of a line. Then we start with this other line, which is 3x plus 2y is equal to 4. And we get this one into standard form. So standard form means the 3x will walk across and we will divide right through by 2 so that our line is now in a proper standard form. And then what is happening? The green line there is y is negative 3 over 2x plus 2. And we are looking for the blue lines equation. This is the y is mx plus c. But our line is perpendicular to the green line. Now to work out that one, oh, and just remember we've got a coordinate k, minus 1, minus 4 that lives on our line. So for perpendicular lines, there's the formula m1 times m2 is negative 1. And we know this one gradient, that's the green lines gradient, is negative 3 over 2. So we substitute it in and then we can work out our line, the blue lines gradient. So what we will do is we will multiply by minus 2 over 3 both sides. And we end with our blue lines gradient is plus 2 over 3. Then into y is mx plus c, we will substitute our perpendicular gradient. And now we want to find out a value for c. And to do that is we need a coordinate that lives on the line. And the only coordinate we've got is that red one, the point minus 1, minus 4 consisting of an x and a y. Into x and y's place we substitute and then we work out c. c's value is negative 10 over 3. Therefore the equation for the blue line, for the line that's perpendicular to the given one, is y is 2 over 3x minus 10 over 3. Example 4. Find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line joining J25 and K12. There's J and there's K and then there's a blue line. So the one that we are looking for, the equation, is this red line. And the red line is the perpendicular bisector. In other words, perpendicular because it's perpendicular to the blue line and bisector because it's right in the middle of the two points. Where do we start? We start with y is mx plus c. Let's go to the gradient. Oh, let's find the point first, the midpoint. So the midpoint you will work out by using the formula x plus x over 2 and for the y coordinate y plus y over 2. When you substitute the two coordinates 2 plus 1 over 2 and 5 plus 2 over 2. Therefore the midpoint there is 3 over 2 and 7 over 2. Now for the gradient of or the, rather the gradient between j and k we use the gradient formula and into the formula 5 minus 2 over 2 minus 1. So the gradient between points j and k is equal to 3. Now we want to find the equation for the perpendicular bisector. So we need to work out what the perpendicular gradient is. Into the formula m1 times m2 is negative 1. Our known gradient is 3, and then to work out the other perpendicular gradient, we divide by 3, we divide by 3. Therefore, the perpendicular gradient is minus a third. Into our formula, in m's place, we will substitute minus a third, since it's the perpendicular bisector. Then, the coordinate that we're going to use is this point 3 over 2 and 7 over 2, which is the midpoint. 
And why that point is because it's um, the perpendicular bisector and bisector means in the middle. So in, in y's place we substitute 7 over 2, in x's place we substitute 3 over 2. 3 and 3 will cancel and then we will be left with a half and the half will walk across to the left hand side and we end with 8 over 2, we end with 4 is equal to c. Therefore, the equation of the perpendicular bisector is y is minus a third x plus 4. In the next video, I will discuss the median and altitude and how to find the equations. Click on the video in the left-hand corner to take you straight to the next lesson.